Hey guys, it's me, Combs. So today, guys, we are going to be covering some FNAF news that has came out recently, like as of today. Uh, no, no PNG to what today, because I really want to get this video out of out, out of the way. But we got some amazing news. So first, the movie is coming out fall 2025. So we have like a year basically before the movie comes out because they are finally working on the animatronics finally. And they need the time to make the movie, of course. We can't really watch them because we want this movie to be good. So we might as well give them a long time. And honestly, I can wait for this movie. I'm sure you guys can agree to. It's an, it's not that long in theory. Uh, I'm actually happy it's taking a little bit of time because you, they can get over stuff with the script, animatronics. Because they are doing stuff with the animatronics, which I will cover a little. But they are going into deep deep stuff scott's actively doing stuff now again after like after that matt pat thing so first let's cover the thing with uh scott so his son posted something on twitter of him and his dad uh posing it looks like they're directing something which is probably the fnaf 2 like elia like recording elia basically they they look like they're thinking about something some plans or maybe they're witnessing something happening and there's like teasing us or something so scott's son did that which is awesome but yeah stuff is in the works as of now but it's gonna be the movie's gonna come out in 2025 also uh it did get delayed till fall because uh no longer will be filming on july 1st uh so if you guys were like, expecting it to become sooner it was delayed because of time and stuff. Maybe actors are doing something, animatronics. It's a bunch of problems that could happen. Basically, it ha was delayed. That's why it is coming through fall 2025, which isn't a long wait, but it kind of is at the same time if you feel me you now. Also, we got uh, news about animatronics. I know you guys are very excited about the animatronics in the FNAF 2 movie. So they are using the old animatronics, you know, the ones in the FNAF 1 movie, and they are going to purposely reuse them and make them into the Withered Warzons. So they're gonna be recycling them, messing them all up basically, and uh, we're gonna be getting the Withered original animatronics, uh, according to this person on Twitter. I'll credit them here. Here's the, here's the username and stuff. Here's the image, you know. But this is amazing news because if they just remade the animatronics, we probably wouldn't get this movie for like another year or so because if this movie is taking place in FNAF 2 and there, it, it 100% is taking place in FNAF 2, there's like 10 animatronics in FNAF 2, so it would take such a long time to just build the main gang again, but like all destroyed. So I'm very happy they, that they are recycling them because it saves everybody time in the process, but I am kind of afraid if they screw something up, something bad can happen. But we don't know. They're the pros at this. They know what they're doing, so let's give it to them. Also, we do have no news. I made a YouTube short about it, but we have Mangle, the uh, the place that makes the stuff. Uh, the Jim Henderson Creature Shop is working the magic again, according to Jason Blum, and he posted an image and it shows some dude walking on Mangle and onto the left we can see something that looks like Toy Bonnie or Freddy or something like that. So they are actively working on the animatronics now and it is pretty cool. I'm not sure if the guy's t-shirt has any meaning, it's just a spring trap t-shirt. I don't think that has anything to do with it, I think the guy just likes spring trap. But we can clearly see Mango being built and other stuff that's going on behind the scenes which is uh, fantastic. This week has, like, this past two or three days have been really filled with news about the movie. Uh, some good, some bad, but, you know, at the end of the day, we want a good movie. We want to be happy with the movie, you know. It is our money that we're going to be spending, and if we are the fans of the series, and we we should hope it's good, we don't want it to be a cash grab. So I'm glad that they are taking the time with the movie. And it so far, I, I'm happy with how things are going. Also, might as well talk about the FNAF book. So we are getting a new FNAF book. It's called Five Nights at Freddy's The Week Before. Well, we will basically, it's a new book, basically. I think the Tales of the Pizza Plex books have ended. So if you were hoping for new books, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But I believe there is two graphic novels that are coming out of the first book and second book. So we have something to look forward to with that. But 
this new FNAF book is going to be taking a week before FNAF 1. So this is going to be about Phone Guy, which is going to be very awesome. Because we know Phone Guy died actually in FNAF 1, which is very sad. But now we can probably know why he died because of this book. There is 25 different endings, and there is some reason difficulty options, which I'm very confused about. But we have so much news. I think we got news about the Ignited series, like uh, the Joy of Course and Ignited. That's going to be coming out soon, too. This week has just been filled with so much news. It's actually amazing. So if you're a FNAF fan like me, yo, we are eating. We are eating so good today, this week. Like, it's insane. And plus, the other FNAF games coming out soon. The, uh, the Pit Bonnie uh, games coming out soon. So... We do have a lot of things to look forward to. We have the movie, which is coming out in 2025, if you did not know. More updates slowly going to be coming out about the movie over time, which is awesome because, you know, communication is awesome with movies and stuff like that because they really, fans really like this stuff. I like it. I know. I think everybody likes it. We got a new game, possibly multiple games because Clip Click Team is working on a game, it seems, but they haven't really said anything about it because there was a new full bit design and a teaser on halloween but they nothing has came since from that which is very intriguing and we got the pit game so we got tons of content that i am so happy that we're getting this is my first time covering fnaf news if you guys want me to cover more news i will because you know i love fnaf i've been in the franchise for a long time and finally being an active member in the community is actually a, such an awesome feeling and reacting to the stuff that's live and crap like Darko, Darko's reaction was priceless he's like freaking about freaking out about the thing it, it's it was so funny as i know Darko loves fnaf you know it, it's just awesome i'm so happy about everything but if you guys like the video please like and subscribe uh if you want to see more content like this tell me in the comments below because i will try it's easy short and i, I put more effort into it eventually but I will see you guys later in goodbye. Ah, oh, we're friends. Me and Glitch Trap best friends forever, baby. Let's I go. Love you, Glitch. I love you too, Glitch Trap. Stop it! Ah, what are you watching? You looking kind of sus, bro. Exactly. Who made this? Who made like buff LP? You stop doing this. I did not release my Dorco model for things like this. You stop right now.